If I am not finding out about black indie films through a Reddit post or an IG ad, it is my dad. Because had it not been for him, I would have never heard anything about this movie. And I must say, thank God that I managed to find the time to go see this movie. Like, for real. So here's why you should go see it. So a hip hop story is a spoof comedy on hip hop and well, essentially hip hop culture as a whole. The film is directed by Demain Radcliffe and it is written by Atheon Crockett and it stars Atheon Crockett and Demain Radcliffe along with John O. Nelson and Lil Rel Howery. A pioneer of the culture joins forces with a few of rap music's most elite performers to attempt to save hip hop. That is legitimately the plot set on IMDb, but there is more to it. So going into this movie, I had a little bit of context of what to expect and by context i mean my dad legit showed me the trailer days before i went to go see it but i didn't know where the movie was going to go and with that being said this movie surprised the absolute hell out of me like in every way shape and form to start off atheon crockett like <laughs> this man really is the jack of all trades while i was watching this movie i was trying to figure out for the longest time who this dude was and then i realized this dude is Ray Ray from a haunted house. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. I knew that dude looked familiar, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. A couple of days before this recording, I wanted to do a little bit more research on who Atheon Crockett was. And yeah, this dude is super talented. This man is a writer, an actor, and a comedian. But I think his comedy is what really sells the movie because his impressions of these artists and just his overall physical comedy is just gold. So throughout the film, Atheon Crockett plays a variety of legendary hip hop icons throughout the decades. And <laughs> his impressions are so good that it is almost scary, especially his Jay-Z impression. Oh, you thought Jay Farrell had great impressions? Wait till you meet Atheon. I would love to see how Atheon got in the character when it came to playing all these different artists because th this could not have been easy. But not only is he capturing these artists vocally, He's capturing their body language and their overall mannerism, like... <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta give the man his props, because he arguably really is a one-man show. So, he plays majority of the characters in this film, along with the supporting cast, of course. But out of the entire cast, he is the one that you see the most. But along with Atheon's great impressions, you have the comedy, and I gotta admit... The comedy in here is just top notch. Like, I have not laughed this hard in an indie film since I, I, I can't even remember. But for an indie film that had little to no marketing, it is just flat out hilarious. Like, <laughs> if you are someone who is highly invested into hip hop and just the hip hop culture as a whole, a lot of these jokes are going to hit. And even if you're not really into hip hop, you're still gonna laugh your ass off. If you're not laughing at the impressions, then you're laughing at the dialogue. That's how it goes. And I think what I love the most about this movie is the conversation about the change and the current trajectory of hip hop. And I think Atheon did an outstanding job with getting his message across without coming across as too preachy or rather condescending in a way. Now for me, I've accepted the change of hip hop but I can't lie, despite the change, there are some new generation rappers that I genuinely love. For example, 21 Savage, Lil Uzi, Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, Travis Scott, the list goes on. And there are some other artists who I think are just flat out terrible. There is a rap song segment near the end of the film and I gotta tell you, it, it was one of the biggest highlights of the entire film because <laughs> imagine all of your favorite artists like these huge big name A-list rappers all come together on one track and they just going bar for bar with each other. Given with the artists that appear on this rap song in the end, we will never get that in today's day and age. The only songs that we've had from my generation that comes close to the rap song segment in this movie was the I'm So Hood remix by DJ Khaled. Also, Friday Night Cypher by Big Sean. And well, arguably, Champions by Kanye West. Other than those three songs, that type of song, that, that huge collaborational effort, we won't see that for quite a while, especially with the artists, especially with the artists that are actually on the track. The odds of them working together again, no. But in the end, y'all, a hip hop story has to be one of the most underrated comedies I have seen this year. This movie has 
a great message about the current state of hip hop and its trajectory and how really the old need to just embrace and accept the new and the new need to respect the old and giving us some amazing impressions and comedy from Atheon Crockett and the rest of the crew. So plugging a hip hop story into the rank system, I am placing this one into the pinnacle zone. I am really just overall amazed with this movie. Like it's just, it's got a lot going on for it. And if you are a huge hip hop head like me, you're going to love this movie without a doubt. Also, I want to give Atheon his props because in his interview with The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God, he said all the money to put into the production for this film came from the money he made from his stand-up tour. Yeah, give that man his flowers because that is very impressive. To not have a big studio funding your movie, you took the money that you made from your stand-up tours and put it towards the production of this film. Hey, if that ain't hustling, I don't know what is. But yeah, y'all, that is pretty much my review for a hip-hop story. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about a hip-hop story. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Who is your favorite hip-hop artist? Do you guys think Playboy Cardi will ever drop this year? Whatever you thought, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next one.